day viewers. Today we'll be looking at how to derive the formula of permutation which is the NPR or as the case might be PNR. So all we need is just the basic knowledge about permutation. From what we all know, n permutation r is equal to n factorial over factorial n minus r. But how? How did they get this formula? How did they arrive at such derivation? Of course, we know that for Permutation one means four, and four permutation two is four times three. That is, you count down four, but in two places. For example, five permutation three is five times four times three. So we see that three comes to play here. 5, 1, 2, 3, and from 5 we count down 3 times. 7 permutation 6 in that case would be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and times 2, making it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but we're starting from 7. So that being said, from all this, we can establish the fact that n permutation 2 would be n multiplied by n minus 1. That is the n and n minus 1 as in the 7 and 7 minus 1 gives 6. Or 4 and 4 minus 1 gives 3. And the 2, this, this, 2. see that n permutation 3 would be n n minus 1 n minus 2 n permutation 4 would be n n minus 1 n minus 2 and n minus 3 now there's something about this we see 4 here and we see 3 if 4 equal to r 3 would be equal to r minus 1. Now let me show you again. n p5 would have n n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, and finally n minus 4. So if 5 is equal to r, 4 equal to n r minus 1. From this, we can establish the fact that n p r is equal to n n minus one, n minus two, down 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 to n minus r minus one. Sorry, it should be in a bracket. So here, this is where we're going to start from. Common n minus one, n minus two, n minus r minus one. So with this equation, that's what we're going to use to prove the formula for permutation. Now, let's get started. N p r equal to n n minus one, n minus two n minus r minus 1 now what I'm about to do it's not really um, easy but it's kind of trickish it's a technique here what 
we are going to multiply it by n minus r permutation all over n minus r permutation of course we all know that this would cancel this would cancel this and give us one so why do we multiply by this but this is exactly what we have to do if we have to derive the formula we're looking for so let's look at it npr this would give n n minus 1 n minus r minus 1 and n minus r permutation all over n minus r permutation now this is it but if we observe carefully we can tell the n n minus 1 n minus r minus 1 n minus r permutation is actually equal to n factorial how i know this is where the main trick is but we need to observe carefully when we have n for sorry for factorial n we would have n then n minus multiplied by n minus 1 n minus 1 and in this case it's going to be till we have n minus now let's open this bracket plus 1 so we keep on doing n minus 1 we get this with minus 1 again to get the next one and until we get to this point to get the next it's going to be n minus r plus 1 minus 1 and then we have n minus r but n minus r would have a factorial because we are not yet sure of the amount of numbers that's in n so n can go on for extra 30 minus 30 minus 31 like that so in that case we have a factorial at the end so n factorial equals to n n minus 1 n minus r plus 1 n minus r factorial so that's the way we prove the form the formula for permutation so in general when this this up here becomes this we have the formula for permutation it's pretty that easy but more technical than easy thank you very much don't forget to subscribe like or drop a comment thank you